Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, we're gonna take a look at my mobile shack. Stick around and we'll get right to it. A big shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So let's start with the outside of the Jeep and kind of go over the antenna. Since we're already at the rear, what I'm running is the Little Tar Heel 2. And one of the modifications I've made to this is I've put a quick disconnect right here at the whip. So if you push down and twist, you can actually pull the whip off. Now, most of the time I leave this uh, sitting in the corner of the garage. I do keep the short whip that originally came with it uh, in the rear of the Jeep because it packs around pretty easy. But the longer one is typically in the garage. Uh, I don't even put it on if it's just gonna be a quick uh, in-town trip. But if I'm gonna be gone for say more than uh, 45 minutes or so one way commuting, then I'll go ahead and pop the longer whip onto it. Now, don't think that you've got to start with an HF antenna like this. Uh, in the very beginning, when I first went to HF, I did not have a screwdriver antenna. The dang things cost nearly as much as a low-end HF radio. So I started out with some ham sticks by MFJ, and I think I bought, I want to say the 20, 40, and 80 meter versions, and just changed them out for the band that I wanted to work. So that's a lot less expensive option if you kind of think you want to get into HF Mobile, but you just aren't completely sure. Now on the front of the Jeep, I run two different antennas. This is my primary here. I actually don't even remember the brand of this. Uh, looks like it's a Comet antenna, but it's a 5 8 wave dual band antenna. Good for both two meter and 440 work. And then on the other side, I run a quarter wave mag mount. Now this is hooked up to the 857 that we'll go and take a look at in a second, but this is more of a secondary antenna. I do plan to upgrade this one in the near future to a full 5 8 wave antenna. Now, as we open up the driver door, uh, you'll see a couple of things here. First, I've got the Raspberry Pi that's uh, attached with a G or has a GPS attached to it. And then in this bag, I keep roughly 33 feet of wire and it has a quick disconnect on it as well that I can attach to the Tar Heel for NVIS ops. Now, I've done a video on that in the past and I'll leave a link to that right up at the top. Inside the cab of the Jeep, we've got the iPad right down here in front of the gear shifter. My primary 2 meter 440 rig is the Yaesu FTM 400. Now this is a great rig because not only is it dual band and capable of VHF and UHF, but it's also APRS capable, so that gives me the option of APRS and APRS messages. In addition, it can do cross-band repeat when needed. So another cool little feature to have on hand with you. And up above the rear view mirror is the Yaesu 857. Uh, a great little radio to have in here and that is my HF rig. And the main reason I haven't upgraded this rig is I haven't found anything yet that will allow me to do not only HF but also 2 meter and 440 single sideband. So until I can uh, run something down that'll do both of those, I'll probably stick with the Yezu for my HF comms. Now, besides those two mobile radios that I have, if we kind of pan back and look over, you'll see right in the roof of the Jeep, I've got a couple of zippered pockets. So on that side, I just keep a inexpensive Baofeng UV-5R. And if we sweep across, you'll see my Yezu FT-65R. And then in the middle console, if we open it up, you'll see my comms gear bag that I've put together. Kind of a little portable kit. And again, I've done a complete video just on this bag, and I'll leave a link to that up at the top as well. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. There's a quick look at the mobile shack. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.